Hi, this is Gail from Life and Splatters, and this is where I spent about nine days, was on this beautiful lake up near Bancroft with my best friend Tia, and this is just some of the footage that I shot. The weather was beautiful for the most part, then there was rain. It's typical September in eastern Ontario. Uh, the weather can change quite suddenly numerous times during the day. We had a lovely, relaxing week. Uh, we sat and watched the lake and listened to the loons and uh, visited a lot of good friends I haven't seen for a few years. It was really nice to catch up with some of these people. Anyway, I'm back. I didn't paint for two weeks, so I apologize for being absent last week. Uh, I didn't have a video ready and I was in holiday mode which is okay. I think sometimes we need to check out and then check back in. So uh, I'm back and I did a painting. And in some ways, some of the colors are somewhat inspired by the this footage that I'm showing. So uh, if you'd like, you know, sit back, have a, another cup of coffee, and let's play with paints together. So I have a 16 by 20 inch oval canvas and what I thought I would do is a layered flip cup and I'm trying to use up some leftover paints. And so I pulled together what I have and I, I put the sort of hot colors. There was a coral and an orange and copper are the first three layers and I always put black between the layers. And so once I've used these warm colors, I'm going to switch over to some blues that I have. And in between the blues, I decided to put a metallic cream color. I think it's a Rustolia Metallic Accents Oyster. And I find putting a black or a white between the layers really makes a difference. So I finished the warm colors. I put in some silver. I'm going to use white again. I have a periwinkle blue. I use the off-white again. I have a royal blue, off-white, and then I add a little bit of a really rich, deep purple metallic. And I think I ended with just a little bit of lime green that I had left over, and then a bit of copper on top of that. So I am applying my base coat, which is interior latex or acrylic paint, uh, semi-gloss mixed with Floetrol and water. 
and you're going to see what this house paint does, what special effects it has. And I'll point them out to you a little further on, but I actually get pearl cells and uh, that form around the outside just by using the house paint as my base coat. Now I, my base house paint, uh, when it sits for a while, the paint and the additives will separate. So you need to give it a really good stir before you start. Hence the uh, extra torching. I found there were a lot of bubbles in there. So now I've flicked the cup over and you can see already what the white house paint has done as it comes up through these colors. So I've had a chance to look at this for a bit, and it is very busy. There's a lot going on. As you can see, I've got pearl cells forming around the outside edges, and that is from the house paint. So I'm going to start with just doing some smears with a palette knife. And you'll see when I pull the palette knife through the paint and down to the base coat, the base coat rises up from under the colors and you get these lovely pillowy looking uh, areas of, of white that come through. And you'll see at the end how beautiful and puffy they look. It's really quite effective. Uh, again, it's one of the beauties of using house paint. Now I'm going to add some great big smears using the white Amsterdam formula. I wanted to create some lacing. I wanted to sort of simplify the composition a bit by drawing some leading lines through it that, that will give your eyes an opportunity to move through the painting in a, a little bit more organized manner. And here are all the pretty little bits. Now look where the white is. That is house paint that's come up from under the colored paints. Uh, 
not the, the places where I did the great big schmears where you've got all the lacing, but these sort of cloud-like or pearl-like cells that have come up through the colors and around the edges of the painting. That is caused by the house paint, and I really like that effect. Uh, the house paint comes up through the colors and it, it softens and almost puffs up. And you can see that in that white area in the top right corner as well. Uh, really pretty effect. Uh, I just wanted to do something really fluid with lots of movement. These are the colors of nature, you know, the sky and the water and uh, the green of the hills. So I, I took my inspiration from nature as well. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I maybe inspired you to try something a little different. Think about using house paint as a base coat. It does have some magical effects. Again, thanks so much for coming along this journey and thanks for all your kind comments. I really do appreciate it. Uh, let's keep playing with pigments and making beautiful things. I really do love to paint and I love seeing what you've come up with when you sort of take this technique or a few ideas of mine and make them your own. Again, thanks so very much. Take good care. Bye.